Well, we've had quite a bit of severe weather action across the plains on Thursday, including a couple of tornadoes. And uh, this is some video of a, a rotating wall cloud and a funnel cloud. And when you look at it in, in regular motion, you can barely see it rotating. But watch what happens when you speed this up. Okay, so we're going to go 8x on the uh, fast forward here. And you can totally see the rotation around that funnel cloud. So that one actually didn't end up dropping, but that was a cell that had uh, dropped a couple of tornadoes on and off. Just a huge ball of energy. That is uh, creating a lot of lift in the air down in the southern and central plains. We've still got a Torcon of 8 for uh, western Oklahoma, parts of south central Kansas, including Dodge City, Garden City, Wichita, uh, down toward, we'll say, Woodward, Oklahoma. And that means an 80% chance that a tornado will happen within a 50-mile radius of any given point. So we still have the same severe threat. It's still a very high threat for severe weather, a lot of huge hail, a big-time damaging wind, and uh, likely a couple more tornadoes. Now, the good news so far, at least through about uh, early evening or so, is that we have seen the atmosphere kind of struggle to produce these long-lasting tornadoes. There have been several tornadoes, and we're going to have more, so I'm not trying to say don't take this seriously, but, um, you know, I'm just happy to see that things haven't been worse up to this point, but we've still got a long ways to go, okay? So don't let your guard down. Uh, I think mostly damaging wind as we get through the overnight, and then the severe threat's going to continue in some of the same areas, actually, and a little bit farther toward the east on Friday. Animals express gratitude. Most pet owners believe they can, and this video suggests that saying thank you isn't uniquely human. While spearfishing for tuna off Mexico's coast, Cameron Dietrich and Colin Sutton happen upon this sea turtle in trouble. Dietrich dives in and goes to work untangling the rope, possibly part of a fishing net, from around the turtle's flipper. Once free, the sea turtle turns and begins to swim away, but then... An incredible thing happens. As Sutton continues to capture the scene with his GoPro camera, the turtle circles back and swims up face to face with Dietrich, allowing the diver to hold him. Is this turtle speak for thank you? It could be. The World Wildlife Fund says fishing gear is the greatest threat to endangered sea turtles. I'm Matt Sampson, The Weather Channel.